to Maidstone. Um, today completes two weeks of our works at this new property that we are developing here in the center of uh, Maidstone. This is a brand new four bed HMO development that we started. Now, we started this with the view of converting this into three flats and through various negotiations over the past two weeks, there have been a lot of back and forth uh, with the council, with the planning, with the housing and uh, the HMO inspection uh, departments. And we have finally arrived at a final plan after two weeks of negotiation and have come up with a design that works for everybody. Come along with me as I give you a glimpse of what we have now developed here. So let's walk through the property. So as we walk in through this house, you would see the whole strip out has now completed within the first two weeks. We have now finished our stud work in the property and most importantly, the uh, first fix electrics wherever possible has been completed in parts. There's still a lot of first fix electric that still needs to go on. And also the tedious part of uh, boarding the, uh, the walls in some of the areas have been completed and uh, the stairs, installing new stairs into the basement has also been completed. I'll give you a view as you walk along with me. So, this is bedroom number one. This is going to be our bedroom number one. This is about nine and a half square meters in size. A uh, pretty nice, decent sized bedroom facing the front of the house. Uh, this will be an ideal bedroom number one for uh, the occupant. This will come with its own ensuite bathroom. I'll ask my cameraman to pan into the bathroom and show you how this is going to look. Uh, the bathroom will obviously have its own toilet basin and shower in here. In one of the corners, as a trademark of our uh, properties that we develop, we will always put in, in that corner a space for a mini fridge uh, and a microwave and a tea coffee baking facility that we always put into our development. So that will come with the room. The room will have a mini kitchenette and a bathroom in there. So this is a nice spacious room overlooking the front of the house with a window right behind you. Following on from there, there's a lovely hallway here that we have found out of what used to be the dining area of the original house. And this is, this, and we've opened up the old extension space. So this is going to be the new kitchen. The kitchen is about eight to nine square meters in size. This is going to be the new kitchen area and it's going to pan out in a straight line format. So we're going to have uh, kitchen units here, more kitchen units here, and then there's going to be a small breakfast bar in this area, ideal for people to sit and have a morning breakfast or a meal in the evening when they come back. Uh, remember, everybody is going to have their own uh, mini kitchenette in their room, so that is perfect and ideal for all uh, members of the house to enjoy a meal in their rooms and also to store their fresh food in their room. So this works really well for everybody. Now. Uh, let me show you how the place looks like uh, at the back. Obviously, there's a garden at the back. We won't go in uh, to the garden, but it gives you a fair idea. Through the garden, uh, you have a side alleyway, uh, and that gives you a, the, the side alleyway uh, from the left-hand side will give you access to uh, a separate fire exit as well. Okay, let's come back into the house, and I'll show you the other bedrooms. So, first let's venture into the basement as I show you the bedroom number two. And this is where the magic has happened over the last two weeks. So, we've installed a brand new stairs. And I apologize uh, because it's a bit dark in the basement. But let me give you the idea of what we've done. The basements here were very steep. Uh, the stairs on the basement were quite steep. And what we've done here is we've put new stairs here that comply with building regulation standards. So the, the goings and the rise in the stairs now comply with building regulation standards. The headroom here is perfect uh, from the, uh, from the uh, ceiling of the, uh, of the basement to the floor level. There's plenty of headroom as you can see. So I can stand up here 
and I'll ask my cameraman to come into the basement to give you a peek. But uh, apologies, we haven't finished the full electrical here, so you won't be able to see. But as uh, if you if you are able to see uh, the the details in here, this is a pretty large basement uh, which will be fully. Uh, occupied by one individual so this will be a very large single bedroom for one individual uh, in here the tanking in this room is still pending and it'll probably be within the next one or two weeks we'll finish the tanking in this bedroom uh, tanking in some of the other properties is done which I'll show you in some of my upcoming videos follow me as I take you to the other bedrooms and I'll also show you where the bathroom to this bedroom is. Now we had a choice. There was plenty of space in that bedroom to carve a bathroom out there. But the logistical challenge of carving out a bathroom there is of course the fact that you have to then use macerators to pull waste out from the basement into obviously the ground floor because that's where all of your waste sewage disposal is. Now we wanted to avoid this and keep the project cost slow and make it as simple a development as possible. So we have now retained the original bathroom for the family home uh, and that becomes the uh, bathroom for the basement which is here. So this will be the bathroom for bedroom number two which was the original uh, family home bathroom. So that becomes a bedroom number two's bathroom. And follow me upstairs as I show you the four other bedrooms. As we go upstairs, we've now redivided, recarved out the bedrooms upstairs to form two further bedrooms. This will be bedroom number three, right? So this used to be the original master bedroom. In classic fashion, what we've done is we pinched a bit of space from the bedroom and this is going to be the ensuite suite for bedroom number three. That still leaves us with about 10 square meters of space in the room after carving out the uh, bathroom here. We've also opened up this corner space here and opened up a bit of uh, space. This used to be a wardrobe here in the original master bedroom. We've opened that up, we've opened up a bit of space uh, in the corner of the wall and we've opened this up and I'll show you what we're going to do with this space. So, this is bedroom number four. Uh, bedroom number four is about nine and a half square meters. Again, it meets the minimum standards of nine square meters. They're well over nine square meters. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the ensuite for bedroom number four. So. That was bedroom number three. This is bedroom number four. That has its own ensuite. And this will be the entrance to the ensuite for bedroom number four that we've carved out in this fashion. So effectively, the bathrooms run in an L fashion. We've created enough space so that the soil stack can go straight in and connect into the soil stack at the back of the house where the remaining bathrooms of the house are. And of course, you might remember that the bathroom to room number one is directly below the bedroom number three. So it's very easy to connect the three bathrooms and then join them to the bathroom for room number two, which is a bed bedroom in the basement. Also, there used to be uh, an old boiler in this space which we have opened up. There's no longer a boiler. And this area ideally adds to further space into the bedroom and will make this into a built-in cupboard for this bedroom, which always adds value. This bedroom obviously overlooks the garden, uh, which we saw a moment ago. So there's plenty of uh, garden views to this bedroom as well. So that, in conclusion, makes this two bedroom house into a four bed, four bathroom HMO that uh, we have converted over the last two weeks. Uh, this plan has finally been agreed with all parties at the council. Uh, and everybody is happy with this plan after a lot of negotiations and we've now managed to get a lot of progress done in a short period of time. I look forward to showing you more details on the works that we are doing here. Keep following and watching more videos uh, on my channel to uh, get further updates. Thank you for watching.